style of Tuvan singing. Throat singing is done in Altai, Siberia, here in Tuva, and in Mongolia. But many people think that Tuva is the birthplace of the overtone singing style. The singer begins with a low drone, then he creates harmonics to go with it. The singing, called Humei, was developed by horse-riding nomads, breeding yaks, sheep or goats, and having a spiritual relation with nature. Singers use their voices and instruments to imitate and interact with natural sounds – birds, rivers, wolves, wind, horses. The different styles, there are three main styles. Okay. There's Gagara, Hume and Sugut. Okay. Gagara is… Um, and there are many different styles of Gagara. Okay. There's horse Gagara, very soft. Uh, the step kagura. Mm. See, it's slightly different. Okay. Mountain kagura. Let's hold me. There's uh, many different styles of homemade. And the, the third one is? There's sugat. Sugat. Sugat is. Sanko mixes traditional and contemporary techniques to create her own original style. Thank you. <laughs> Back to the stadium. For an afternoon of Huresh, wrestling, the national sport. Mongosh Nachin Jarana, Omananda, Mongosh Shobanime, and that Mogulet Ria. I love the eagle dance, danced by everybody before the fight and by the winners after. Especially with music and voice of my friend Evgeny. Last day in Tuva. We stop at a farm owned by Robert's friends. Livestock breeding is not so bad, and many Tuvans go back to the countryside to work. A beautiful landscape, 
people are poor, but life is better than in the cities. driving to go to Abakan, the nearest airport. Tuva is far away, practically unknown, and as beautiful as a musician's dream. <laughs> 